What's up, Attack? I'm Sky, and today we're looking at Monkey King Online, which is a 2D MMO game. It's by R2 Games, and we've actually looked at two other games by this company, which is Blade Hunter and also Magic Barrage. And so, I really, really like Blade Hunter. Totally suggest you guys check that game out. But this is Monkey King Online, okay? It's inspired by A Journey to the West. Really famous novel, a really old story, but it's inspired Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and countless other games. So this is like sort of a direct inspiration to this game. And in this game, you're gonna find fantasy, uh, feudal Japanese art and uh, armor, you know, magic, monsters, stuff like that. But also, what you're gonna find is that this game pl literally plays itself. The game absolutely plays itself. There's even an option called the AFK option where you can hit AFK and be like, hey guys, can you just kind of bot for me? The game has a botting option built in. <laughs> so your, your character will actually kill the nearest mobs over and over and over again. So this game is going to be played a little bit differently than a lot of MMOs. But what's cool about it is that this game is honest about what it is. So there's a lot of these games that require active participation, even though they are AFK worthy questing, AFK worthy fighting. But in this game, it's just like, hey, we understand. This, it's AFK worthy, so literally just AFK. Just you can either watch the screen and then you can think about other things and do other things, and that's it. So the whole point of the game is to go through this, maybe read about the story, you know, kind of see some of the spectacle, not too much spectacle. The artwork is not bad at all, but really it's all about the end game PvP and guild PvP. You know, customizing your character with your, the different spells and everything and doing the fighting, but sadly as a first impression, I can't talk about that. I have no idea what that's about. I have no idea if it's going to be really epic or not, but so far I can I can uh, report that the frames per second, at least in the animation, it's not really high quality. It's, it's actually really jittery and stuff like that, uh, but you know, the art does look good. Uh, the spells, everything, it, you know, it, it looks fine. You know, it's kind of a spectacle. It's okay. It's not like Blade Hunter. I really enjoy Blade Hunter. Uh, but I think what this game is going to be like, I think it's going to be really more for people who are really into climbing leaderboards, being really strategic, and having really long thought process. Like, that go on for weeks and months, you know, just constantly thinking and strategizing and trying to be the best at something, especially gathering with your guild and constantly raiding random dungeons and stuff like that. It's, it's honestly a little bit mindless. So, and my first impressions is that, well, the game's honest, but it's boring as hell, and I'm really not a fan of these games. I love action, okay? Like Dark Souls. Even just the normal monsters are freaking difficult to fight, and you have to have finesse and skill to beat each and every single individual monster. I'm a fan of that. That's why I like Guild Wars 2, because it's kind of hard, and I enjoy that. But this game is just super, super easy, and from like a new player's perspective, I can't see what, how can I even call this a game? I'm not, I'm literally not playing it. It equips items for you. It goes to quests for you. The game, it literally plays itself. Like, guys, go try this game. I recommend you guys go try this game so you know what it feels like to be watching a game. Like, I might as well just go on YouTube and just watch gameplay of something. Like, wow. Anyway, so, that's really all I can report on this game. Apparently, though, that the end game, the PvP and all that, it's supposed to be really strategic and everything, and the systems in place seem like it could be. You know, it's probably like an EVE Online sort of uh, experience where a lot of it is just grinding resources, and then you finally have that one epic battle. But I don't know. I have no idea about that, so can't report on it. Uh, it is a free-to-play game, so you can play it in your browser, too. So that's really cool. And, uh... Well, that's it. I don't know what else to say. There's really not much to this game other than, hey, artwork is nice. The spectacle was okay, but it did play itself. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had fun. See you later. What's up, guys? I'm Skyland Shore here with MMO Attack. Greetings, travelers. And it seems that you're looking for maybe some hidden treasure, seeking new adventures, stuff like that. You don't know exactly where to start, though. But it's okay. I actually know how you feel. So let me help you out here and show you a few paths you can take on the start of your new journey. So these 10 games are all fun for lots of different reasons.